It's your morning guru in the house back with another bang on video. Well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Indian guru is back. And this video is definitely, I think, yes, you've already seen the thumbnail. It's all about Wilfred Zaha. Well, he just created a lot of fuss yesterday night when he was in a pub. We're going to discuss that. Don't worry, Wilfred Zaha to Arsenal. Is it real? Is it happening or not? Everything will be discussed in this video. But it was a really interesting night yesterday because as I finished the live, as I finished my, uh, you know, uploading my uh, the, the third video of the day, but it was unbelievable to see Wilfred Zaha come up with some unbelievable shenanigans man but not only like this we're gonna talk about something really special related to Matteo Genduzzi well Paris let's let's really 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 just uh, don't waste our time and start with the first news Paris Saint-Germain are considering entering the race for Arsenal midfielder Matteo Genduzzi according to James Benge and James Benge says Arsenal have held further talks with Genduzzi's representatives since the end of the season and hope to earn 40 million pounds for the French under 21 international well yes it is pretty much clear that Paris Saint-Germain would want a, a, a slice of Genduzzi into their midfield and it could cost them some good amount of money because yes as the interest is boiling on in Genduzzi building with Paris Saint-Germain mulling move for their former academy graduate so yes it looks like Matteo Genduzzi is definitely leaving Arsenal but let's talk about something really special let's let's just just jump into the whole Zaha situation now what happened there's this guy named, named by Anthony Belling. He, spoke, he posted on Instagram story that on, on a holiday in a nightclub with Crystal Palace forward Wilfred Zaha. And there was a sign which, which suggested that Zaha is pointing to. He's, a, he's pointing to a sign in the nightclub that, which says Zaha to Arsenal. So it is pretty much clear that the player is desperately wanting to come to Arsenal, man. Yes. And he, I think he, post, uh, he actually posted, So me and Wilfred Zaha have a message for you guys at Arsenal. And then that those whole messages, man, that was so unbelievable. And Arsenal are keen on signing. There, there was there was a news that Arsenal are keen on signing Wilfred Zaha this summer, according to Sun Football, which I don't completely uh, believe in, uh, in in transfer news. And they said that Crystal Palace are now willing to uh, listen to offers as low as thirty million pounds. That's not the reality, though. So let me just address that. So finally, uh, Chris Wheatley tweets out, and that. I think it's pretty much clear that Arsenal have signed Pepe over Zaha last summer because Lille accepted an instalment-based deal. Arsenal only paid an initial £10 million fee to the French side. He further, further uh, he addresses the issue, Chris Wheatley, suggesting that no, can't see it happening, wanted to provide some context as to why Arsenal went for Pepe instead. So... As it stands, Wilfred Zaha to Arsenal is definitely not not on the works, man. Arteta does not does not feel right to actually give Wilfred Zaha the chance. But moving on, Arsenal goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez is definitely on a ruckus, man, because he believed that he admitted that he it is it is likely that he will end up leaving the team this summer because the, of the lack of minutes he suffers with Mikel Arteta. He said as he said to a Continental Radio via Mundo Deportivo. So I think. There is something really uh, brewing up, man. Martinez does not want to stay, man. He wants first team action. He wants a piece of that. He, he actually was waiting for a situation wherein he would get some good amount of time, game time. But when he got his chance, he, he, he nailed the trophy, man. And he said that, I have shown the club that I can play for them. And when I return next season, I need to have some more games. That is the only way I will say at Arsenal. My target is to consolidate my place with Arsenal and to reach the Argentinian national team as number one. I won't stop until I get that. And if I don't play for Arsenal, then clearly I would move on. So yes, it is happening, man. Emiliano Martinez wants first team action under Mikel Arteta. Otherwise, he's going to leave, man. And Chelsea have reportedly made a £20 million swoop to snap up Manchester City defender John Stones. The 26-year-old England star is likely to leave the Etihad this summer following the £41 million arrival of Nathan Ake. Well, the interest in the former Everton man has sparked Chelsea boss Frank Lampard's interest. And it looks like £20 million is what they had to pay to Manchester City to get uh, John Stones to Chelsea. And let's see how things will turn out because uh, David Moyes was thinking about getting him at West Ham and Ars Arteta was linked with him as well. But you know what it is all about at uh, uh, you know for Arteta because every, everyone everyone knows it's all about Gabriel Magalhaes coming to Arsenal. So I don't think so. There, there are news that, uh, you know... Uh, that, that there are going to be news that John Stones would be going to Chelsea. I, I think so, yes, but not to Arsenal. Well, moving on, Arsenal have been told that Willian's arrival only makes sense if they sell Alexandre Lacazette, 
football expert Gabriel Marcotti has spoken to Sky Sports suggesting that what I would be concerned about is that Arsenal are going to be in the same situation with Lacazette in a year's time. He's 29 years of age and has one more year on his contract than Aubameyang. When you add in that Arsenal may sign Villian on a three-year deal, that is a lot of money to commit to attacking players who are or will be in their 30s. It is, it is a ton of money to lay out. It seems strange to do that when uh, Arsenal have youngsters like Saka, Martinelli and Eddie and Ketia, who they presumably want to grow. Uh, my, Mikel Arteta is on an upward trajectory, but he needs time. So it makes even s less sense to put your resources in older players at this stage. It seems an odd and unusual approach the club are taking, unless they are planning to sell Lacazette. But we don't know that. So yes, I think Gabriel Marcotti is making a point that, uh, you know, if Willian comes in, I think Alex Lacazette will leave. And that could give a bigger room uh, for Aubameyang to fill in that centre-forward position. Well, yes... Let's talk about Cesc Fabregas because he has sent Willian a message. That is that is a touch of class, man. He sends a message to Willian as Arsenal close in on a free transfer. And the former Chelsea midfielder responded to the Willian's open letter, man. He has taken to social media to wish Willian luck. Uh, you know, we, we all know what William posted yesterday and he says, I live with my held, he, head held high, safe in the knowledge that I won things here and always did my best in a Chelsea shirt. And yes, I think uh, uh, that is what unbelievable, uh, which says Fabregas replied to it, said, Mucha suerte, amigo te sales, he says, which, which actually translates to, uh, good luck, my friend, you go out. And that is unbelievable because you could see that Billy Gilmore has already, you know, given his love uh, on that comment as well. So, yes, it was a very emotional moment to all the uh, ex-Chelsea players and the current Chelsea players that Willian is leaving. Well, moving on, well, let's talk about how much full, you know, each Premier League stadium was last season. Because you could see West Ham at the topmost with 99.86%. Arsenal were second in that list with 99.3%. Above Chelsea, uh, you got Norwich, you got Everton, you got Brighton. So, I think among the top six, we are we are right up there, man. Nobody's actually ahead of us uh, apart from uh, West Ham. So, I think that's really that's a really good kind of a, uh, a good kind of a start to have, isn't it? Well... Uh, talking about more stuff to be happening at Arsenal. Well, in the next video, we're going to talk about something really special related to Thomas Partey. We're also going to talk about something re uh, related to uh, Gabriel Magalish as well. So keep watching the video and let's talk about Arsenal star Ainsley Maitland-Niles. He he's up for sale, but he joined. did he know that he joined Gunners at 6 but could leave on verge of a breakthrough because he was born in Ilford and was raised by a single mother, Jules. Uh, she says, there were times that their dad would help out, like playing with the kids. There were also times when he wasn't helping out in the right ways, like providing food. Obviously, you can't eat a pair of football boots. And Jules actually became synonymous to Arsenal for the, all the wrong reasons, because she allegedly got into a furious bust up with Arsenal's former chief negotiator, Dick Law, at their London colony, and was said that to have acted violent towards him after seeking reassurances about his future. She was actually arrested and later released without any charge. And that is, that is how, how crazy she was. But yes, and as I already mentioned about Matteo Ganduzi, Barcelona, Villarreal and Paris Saint-Germain are eyeing up for him. So let's see how things will turn out. So these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes to this platform every single day twice. So what you gotta do, you just have to subscribe and hit the bell icon because when you do that, you get two videos about Arsenal every single day. Today we're going to talk about Thomas Partey and definitely Gabriel Magalish. Further proofs that Gabriel Magalish is definitely no longer a Lille player. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers and don't forget to subscribe.